India has conducted its first ever test of a hypersonic weapon. The hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle HSTDV, developed by Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, was launched on the 12th of June 2019. DRDO is the research and development arm of India's military. An official DRDO statement said, "The missile was successfully launched at 11:27 hours." Various leaders, telemetry stations, and electro-optical tracking sensors track the vehicle through its course. The data has been collected and will be analyzed to validate the critical technologies. As per reports, HSTDV will be capable of reaching speeds in excess of Mach 6.5. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes India's hypersonic missile test. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. An object is said to be hypersonic once they exceed speeds of Mach 5. That's five times the speed of sound. This is about 1,715 meters per second or 3,836 miles per hour or 6,174 kilometers per hour. There are currently two methods being applied to make hypersonic weapons. First is using a scramjet engine. The scramjet is an innovation on the ramjet. Ramjet engine can power flight to supersonic speeds, but scramjet can enable the missile to reach hypersonic speeds. These engines have no moving parts, like the compressors or turbines used in the turbofan engines found on conventional jet planes. They rely on huge pressure created by fast airflow into the engine to ignite the fuel and generate thrust. In this method, a rocket booster is used to accelerate the missile to hypersonic speed. Then the scramjet engine kicks in and enables the missile to fly at sustained hypersonic speed. Second is using hypersonic glide vehicle HGV. In this method, the system is launched to extremely high altitudes using ballistic missile or an aircraft where it skips across the Earth's upper atmosphere. The vehicle then separates from the carrier and the scramjet engine takes over, accelerating it to hypersonic speeds as it glides back to Earth towards its intended target. India's HSTDV uses this approach. Indigenously developed Agni-1 missile was used as the carrier. Countries like Russia, China and the US have been developing sophisticated layer air defense. These systems are difficult for traditional aircraft and missiles to penetrate. This is where hypersonic weapons come in. Their extreme speed and ability to fly in an unpredictable path give them a high probability of penetrating the air defenses. They will be very hard to track, let alone intercept. It is to be noted that traditional ballistic missiles also reach hypersonic speed when they descend down on the target, but they follow a predictable predefined parabolic path which could lead to possible interception by anti-ballistic missile defense systems. The characteristic of hypersonic weapons makes it suitable for neutralizing well-defended strategic military assets. These weapons may also be used in neutralizing incoming enemy missiles where they will be used as interceptors. Russia is leading the hypersonic weapon space as of now. It is claimed that it has already fielded a scramjet engine based on hypersonic missile named Kinzhal and it is very close to having an operational hypersonic boost glide vehicle named Avangard. China is thought to be pursuing hypersonic weapons as well and has made some progress with hypersonic glide vehicle HGV approach. The United States is working on both the approaches for developing its hypersonic weapon and may have a working prototype by 2021.
Agni-1, meaning fire, is a short-range ballistic missile developed by DRDO of India under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program. It was developed to fill the gap between 155 miles or 250 kilometer range of Prithvi-2 and 1550 miles or 2500 kilometer range of Agni-2. It has a range of 900 kilometers or 560 miles. It was first tested in 2004. Agni-1 is a single-stage, solid-fuel, road and rail mobile missile. The 15-meter tall Agni-1 missile, weighing about 12 tons, is capable of carrying both conventional as well as nuclear warheads of 1,000 kilograms or 2,200 pounds. India's missile program is fairly advanced to say the least. It has several kinds of missiles. short medium and long-range ones. The Agni-5 missile is the longest-range weapon with an officially stated range of 3,100 miles or 5,000 kilometers, but an actual estimated range of more than 5,100 miles or 8,200 kilometers. Recently, India even conducted an anti-satellite missile ASAT, test. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi said India has successfully conducted an anti-satellite missile test. In a national address on March 27 of this year, Mr. Modi said India had achieved a historic feat by shooting down its own low-orbit satellite with a ground-launched missile in three minutes. Till then, only three countries – the US, Russia and China – have demonstrated this kind of capability. The test was also conducted by Defense Research and Development Organization. The anti-satellite missile knocked out a satellite which was in low Earth orbit at an altitude of 186 miles or 300 kilometers. To know more, viewers can check the video on the above card. India already has a homegrown two-layer BMD – Ballistic Missile Defense. India's indigenously designed BMD system was successfully tested on May 15, 2016. The two-tiered BMD system consists of the PAD Prithvi Air Defense, which will intercept missiles at exoatmospheric altitudes of 50 to 80 kilometers or 31 to 50 miles, and the AAD Advanced Air Defense missile for an interception at endoatmospheric altitudes of up to 30 kilometers or 19 miles. The BMD system uses the Swordfish radar. Swordfish is an Indian Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, long range tracking radar, specifically developed to track ballistic missiles, and can spot objects as small as a cricket ball, 3 inches in diameter, at ranges of up to 500 miles or 800 kilometers. As per reports, process is going on to increase the range of the radar to around 950 miles or 1500 kilometers, which will make it one of the most capable ground-based radars in the world. Adding hypersonic weapon in its arsenal will definitely add another dimension to India's military capability. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.